We're starting in crocodile, Makarasana. Bring yourself onto your belly. The feet are either pointing directly away from you, or if it's comfortable for the knees, you can allow the toes to turn out. Stack the forearms, bring the forehead to rest. Completely relax the shoulders, the neck, breathe into the belly, enjoy that inward focus. In the arms. If you've turned out the toes, then draw them away from the body with the toenails making contact with the floor. Bring the hands towards the ribs. Back of the neck long, keep the gaze soft and low. Inhale into cobra, lengthening the tailbone away towards the heels. Exhale. Inhale. Waking up the front of the body. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale onto hands and knees, take a couple of breaths there in cat, finding length through the spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone. From here we tuck the toes under. We're coming into a dog pose, Adhuma Kushivasanasana, with bent knees. Inhale, exhale. Take the sit bones up and back. Keep the knees nice and bent. Elongate the spine. Feel the stretch through the hips. Inhale, back through to cat. Take a round of breath. Walk the hands forward, lengthen out the shins, roll the body down to the floor. Hands by ribs, inhale cobra, exhale. Inhale cobra, exhale all the way to a long child's pose, taking the sit bones towards the heels, keeping the palms forward. Inhale onto the hands and knees, tuck the toes under, exhale to down dog, keeping those knees quite bent to start with. We'll take the knees to the mat, mat width apart, inhale. On the exhale, bring the heels towards each other, drop the hips forwards without sinking into the lower back. Draw the chest forwards between the upper arms. Inhale. Exhale to plank. Straight and rigid. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Keeping a bend in those knees. Take a round of breath in down dog. Take the knees mat width apart. Inhale. Exhale, bring the heels together, draw the chest forwards between the upper arms. Make sure you don't sink into the shoulders here. Inhale, draw the chest forwards. Exhaling, plank. Inhale, plank. 
Exhale, down dog. Round of breath and down dog. Bring yourself onto the knees. Untuck the toes all the way back to the floor. And take the hands alongside the body, palm up. Coming into Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. Inhaling, keeping the tailbone long, back of the neck long. Exhale, relax down, turning the gaze towards the left. Completely relax the shoulders and the neck. Carefully unwind the leg. Inhale, Shalabhasana. Stretch the balls of the feet away to elongate that tailbone. Exhale, turn the gaze to the right. Carefully untwist the neck, hands by wrists. Up onto the knees. Tuck the toes under, inhale, exhale, down dog. Round of breath and down dog. Take the knees wide, inhale, bring he the heels together, exhale, draw the chest forwards. Exhale, plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Bring the knees wide onto the mat. Inhale. Bring the heels together. Draw the hips forwards and the chest forwards. On the exhale, this time we'll bring the big toes together on the mat, exhaling all the way through to long child's pose. Inhale onto the knees. Exhale, plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Knees wide, inhaling. Exhale, heels together. Draw the hips forwards. Chest through the upper arm. Big toes together, long child's pose. This time we'll stay here for a few breaths. Inhaling onto the palms. Bringing the knees underneath the hips. Tucking the toes under, taking an inhale, exhaling to down dog. Starting to allow the heels to drop towards the floor. Sit bones lifted up and back, hands spread. Walk the feet towards the hands, take a deep bend in the knees. And take some half forward fold. Exhale. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This time we'll stay in our forward fold, taking elbows in opposite hands. And releasing the head down. Roll all the way up to standing. Stacking the vertebrae, rolling the shoulders up and back. Taking the hands above the head, palms meet. 
interlacing all the fingers apart from your index fingers. Inhale, without overarching the lower back, just lift the chest. On the exhale, we side bend to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders open. Take another deep bend into the knees, rolling forwards and stretching out the shoulders. Release the hands down to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up, grounding the feet, rolling the shoulders open, we come to Tadasana. We're now taking the Egyptian sun salute. The sun's come out right on cue. I know some of you like this one. It's got lots of different types of forward folds in. It's a great one for our lesson theme. Find that foundation with your feet. Inhale, interlace the hands above the head, middle index finger pointing up. Exhale, side bending to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold, bending the knees, keeping the back flat, bringing the fingertips to brush the floor. Inhale all the way up. Palms lead. Take a gentle back bend without overarching the lower back. This time, as we fold forward, we become floppy. We allow the head to be heavy, rolling down. Hands hang heavy. Inhaling to come up, leading with the backs of the hands. Inhale. Hands come up level with the shoulders, plugging the upper arms back into the sockets. Exhale, turning towards the right. Inhale, forwards, hands are relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhaling, bring the right arm across. Exhale, turn the palms upwards, fingers stretched out. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, bending at the knees, flat back. Inhale, all the way up. Back bending. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Take a deep round of breath here, feeling the energy running through the body. See if you begin to lace the hands the other way, the unnatural way. Kali Mudra with just the index fingers outstretched. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale to lift. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Flat back. Legs strong. Inhale all the way up. Bringing the palms to meet for a gentle back bend. Exhale, allowing the head to be heavy. Rolling down into your floppy forward fold. Peeling up, leading with the backs of the hands. Inhaling, hands level with the shoulders. Exhaling, turning towards your right. Inhale forwards. Exhale to the left. Keep the left hand where it is, inhale, 
drawing the right arm across, opening through the collarbone. Exhale, turn the palms upwards. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Take that gentle back bend, watching the lower back, just lifting the chest. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bring the thumbs just in contact with the top of the sternum. Enjoy that contact there. We'll come back to that later in the class. Coming to the top of the mat. Feet slight distance apart, maybe a fist width apart. Inhale, palms face each other. Exhaling, Utkatasana, chair pose. Keeping the natural curves in the spine Weight towards the heels, lifting the arms. Exhale, fold. We step back with the right leg into a lunge. We work on the hamstrings and the hips now. On the inhale, we draw the hips forward, bend the front knee. Exhale, draw the hips back. We lean the front leg towards straight, the back heel towards the ground. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, working back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lunge. We reach up with the left hand, keeping hips drawn towards each other so they don't skew out to the side, opening up between the collarbones, that lovely twist there. Exhale, bring the hands down, framing the front foot, draw the chest forwards, stepping forwards, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, bring the hands together. We're just making that contact gently there with the thumbs on the top of the sternum. The heart chakra, Anahata chakra. Releasing the arms, lifting all the way up. Palms face each other. Exhaling, Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight into the heels. Inhale, lifting up the shoulders, plugging the arms into the shoulder sockets. Exhale, folding. Stepping back with the left leg into a lunge. Inhale, Sinking the hips, bending into the right knee, having a nice stretch through the left hip flexor. Exhale, jogging straight to the front leg, back heel drops towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left hand stays grounded, inhaling up with the right, opening up between the collarbones. Exhale, bring the top hand down, back into our lunge, draw the eye of the chest forwards, inhale. Exhale, step forwards, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising. Drawing the palms together. Exhaling. We 
that gentle contact there at the heart centre. Our balance today is Gary Dasma Eagle Pose. It gives you lots of options so you can take the balance at your level and find that steadiness. Bringing the weight into the right leg. We cross the left leg over. Either keep the toes on the mat or some of you may intertwine the legs. We take the left arm out. Right arm crosses high up. Bring the backs of the hands together or the palms together. Steady the breath, steady the gaze. Breathe into the upper back. moment here with both feet on the floor. Find the rhythm of the breath. Bring the weight into the left leg. Cross the right leg over. Either pop the toes onto the floor for stability. Squeeze the thighs together and wrap. Top leg round. Your body allows. Take the right arm forwards, left arm crosses high up, backs the hands together, or palms together. Find your focus, breathe into the upper back. Take a moment here in Tadasana, feeling the effect of your practice, the focus of the balances, the energy from our flows. From here we'll step the feet wide. Turn the toes out to around 45 degrees, take an inhale, exhale, sink the hips down. Opening up the inner thighs here, relax the shoulders. We'll take some side bends here. Bringing the right forearm onto right thigh and the left arm over. That supported side bend there, keeping the chest lifted. Fingers active. Inhale to come up, straighten the legs. Exhale. Take another round of breath here with straight legs. We'll take that to the other side. We'll sink the hips down. Bring the left forearm onto the left thigh. Inhale over. With the right arm. Keep the chest lifted, fingers active. Inhale to come up. Exhale, square up the feet. We're coming into Padottanasana now. Prasavita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold with a nice back stretch to boot. Hinging from the hips. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, hinging. Bring the fingers onto the floor, keeping the weight towards the heels so we're not rocking onto the balls of the feet. Walk the hands forwards. Keep the sit bones stretched back for that lovely stretch through the spine.
Keeping the right foot to face the short edge of the mat. Pulling the left foot in very slightly, making sure your front knee isn't locked out. Inhale, float the arms out. Broaden through the collarbones. Reach forwards with the front hand with your right hand, dropping right hand to right shin. Opening into Tripalasana. Inhale to come up. Square up the feet. Interlace the hands behind the back. Open the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale. Forward fold with the shoulder stretch. Release the hands. Slight bend in the knees, hinging from the hips, coming up on an inhale, legs strong. Turning the left foot to face the short edge of the mat, turning the right foot in very slightly. Inhale, float the arms out, find that space between the collarbones, anchoring your back foot, reaching forwards, exhaling. Keeping space from both sides of the body, spinning the ribs to find your space in Tripanasana. From here we'll bring the hands down to the floor, step to down block. Bring the knees down and come into sit. We'll take Matsyandrasana now, half Lord of the Fishes, which is a nice twist. We'll start off bending the right leg. Make sure your sit bones are grounded, your spine is tall. The left leg can come to either the shin side or the thigh side of the bottom leg. As long as your sit bones are grounded and your spine is long. Take an inhale. Reaching up. Exhale, turning towards your left. Either hugging the top knee in here, or we can bring the top arm just to the other side of the knee for a slightly stronger twist. to look over the back shoulder. A further option, some of you might want to take a little arm balance here. You can bring the palms down to the left side of the body, make a little shelf with your elbows and maybe tip up into an arm balance. Let's have a bit of fun with that. Exhale, derotate. We'll just take that twist to the other side for a moment, turning towards your right. Arm twisting. Give the legs a shake. We'll take a bend into the left leg. The sole of the right foot comes either to the shin side or the thigh side of the bottom leg, sitting tall, grounding the sit bones. Inhale, lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turning towards the top leg. Either hug the leg in there, it's nice to feel the contact of the thigh with the belly. Or we can take the top arm just to the outside of that top knee. A stronger twist. Option to look over the back shoulder if your neck's comfortable. An option for the long balance. If you're feeling playful, making a ledge with your elbows and lifting up.
we'll meet back in Matsyandrasana. Inhale and twist. Exhale, just derotating the other way for a moment. Unraveling on an inhale, giving the legs a shake. We'll now take Yano Shisasana, which is a great hip opener and forward fold. We'll take a bend into the right leg. Bring the sole of the foot towards the thigh, make sure the sit bones are grounded and the knees are relaxed out to the side. You can always pop a cushion underneath that knee. That's more comfortable for you. The outstretched leg is active, toes are lifted, sitting tall, inhaling, lengthening through the spine, reaching forwards to the middle of the mat rather than over that front foot, we're not twisting. Once you have the length through the spine, you can bring the fingertips to the floor, length through the back of the neck. Once we've got that length, we can then allow the heavy head to relax. Open those fingertips up, lifting the bent knee, straightening the legs. We'll take that to the other side, taking a bend into your left leg, bringing the sole of the foot to the thigh, allowing the knee to relax out to the side. If it's more comfortable for you, for you, you can always pop a cushion under that knee to support it. Sit bones are grounded, spine is tall. The outstretched leg is active. Inhaling, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, start to fold forward, hinging from the hips, keeping the sit bones grounded. Once we've got the length, we can allow the fingertips to reach the floor and the head to relax. Walk the fingertips up, straighten out the legs. We'll now take Paschimottanasana, the west stretch, or forward fold. Make, take a little bend in the knees there so the spine isn't rounded. What we don't want with our forward folds is to have a round in the back, so we're folding from the middle back. We want to fold from the hips, so bending the knees can take the tension out of the hamstrings. Maybe sit on a block or a cushion to elevate the sit bones that can also help to take out the rounding in the lower back. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, reach forwards, forwards with the chest. Once we have the length, we can release into the forward fold, tummy towards thighs, and maybe the legs might want to straighten a little without straining. Open yourself upwards. Bringing the knees closer in towards you, wrapping the arms around. We'll come into a little cosmic egg, ba egg balance, which is a nice one for drawing the sense of inwards.
bring the feet down. Keeping the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to drop out to the side and you lift up the sit bones so that we can get that connection there. The hips slightly tilted forward so we don't have rounding in the lower back. Sitting tall, inhaling, exhaling, dropping in to our forward fold. bringing yourself up, drawing the knees in towards each other, supported by the hands. It's now time for our restorative pose, which today is restorative child's pose, balasana. So we want to make a, if you've got a bolster that's great, otherwise we'll make a makeshift bolster. I need about four cushions. We want to support the tummy, support the whole torso, so build enough height through cushions and blankets so that your tummy can rest on to the support. And then I also like to have support under my head so my back's not too rounded. So we'll come through as if to child's pose. If um, your ankles are a bit grumbly, you can always pop a little roll, roll towel under the ankles and a support underneath the sit bones. Or if that, this really is too uncomfortable, then come back to Makarasana, to crocodile pose that we did lying flat on the belly at the beginning of class. Otherwise, you want to make sure that your body is supported, your elbows and wrists are supported and relaxed. And bring the head to face one way. Feathers here. Pop the video on pause if you want to stay longer. It's important to take the head in both directions. So gently lift the head and turn to face the other way halfway through. Carefully untwist the neck. We slowly make our way into Shavasana. We have a breathing meditation. I like to take support under my head in Shavasana. Slowly peeling the spine down to the floor. Stretching out the feet, or taking the feet mat with part knees together if your lower back's happier that way. With the hands, palm up, shoulder blades tucked underneath you. We'll take three exhales 
through the mouth to release any residual tension in the body. Deep inhale. Exhaling through the mouth. Deep inhale. Last one, deep inhale. As you breathe in and out with your natural breath now. Breathing in, drawing in energy and light. Exhaling, settling into calm and steadiness. Inhaling, energy and light. Exhale, settling into calm and steadiness. Continuing with that breathing meditation. completely letting go of any conscious thought, sinking into your Shavasana, into nothingness. Now deepening the inhale and exhale once more, bringing movement back into the wrists, the ankles, the hands, the feet, the head, making your way onto one side, and from there slowly coming to sit with a straight spine. Finish our practice with three rounds of on. Inhaling. to rest just above the sternum, sensing the vibrations through your being. Right thoughts, right words, right intentions. Namaste.